Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have got an exciting topic in line up for, for you. We will be driving into the world of automation with GitHub Action and Jacker Hub. If you have wanted to streamline your container deployment process, this video is for you. So uh, let's uh, see the our uh, workflow for this project, right? Suppose our developer push the code uh, into the GitHub, right? Then uh, you have set up the uh, GitHub action. It's automatically sends the any change in the GitHub and start build, right? And uh, we are uh, we will use the Java based application and the build. Uh, tool is the uh, maven right and uh, when the build is complete it uh, uh, it will create a image right and that image is pushed to our github right uh, and the uh, after that this is the ci process then the cd part is uh, automatically pull the image and create a container right docker container that is uh, i i will use here is the jumpcat image right so it will uh, full the uh, image and create a container so let's start the demo So you can see this uh, this repo. Uh, I will use this one, and here is the branches. You can see uh, this is the Docker, right? So first you have to go to the here. You can see the action. Just click on here, right? And click on the new workflow, right? And after that, uh, you can see lot of template is there, right? So I am selecting this one right and uh, it will give the template right and you can see if this file is automatically created like in, in our repo dot github slash workflow slash maven yaml this is a um, yaml file right and key and value configuration and uh, this is my uh, yaml file so we have to maintain the indentation here right so i have already uh, written the this uh, uh, code right uh, so let's go to the uh, test editor and you can see this this is the code and uh, you can see the branch is docker right and uh, here is the job so we have two job one is the build job and another one the deployment job right so in the build job section what will happen uh, I have used the uh, Okay, you can see this is the Maven package. Okay, so the uh, runs on means which machine it will run. Uh, it will run in the Ubuntu machine, and this is the container. Give the action, create a container, and run on this side, right? And uh, after that, uh, uh, I have used the uh, Java 8, right? You can see the uh, I have used the Java 8 because it's a Java based application, so Java is required here. Then the build tool, right? So build tool I have used the maven then run the command like mvn clean package right this command is run inside the container and uh, uh, after that uh, what will happen after that uh, when the mvn clean package this uh, done then the our artifact the end product that is that war file will create it then uh, set the uh, this is the actually set the build number okay so in this way you can set the build number uh, right and kf uh, in the echo command right this build number is there then then the next is login to the docker hub then how will login to the docker hub required is the username and the password right so uh, this is the secret i have uh, this is the secret i will uh, I will store this secret in the uh, github repository right this is the uh, docker uh, hub username and the password instead of password uh, i will use uh, the docker hub uh, token right now i will show you how we will 
when I generate the token, everything I will show you, right? Then this is the uh, image, right? Okay, so uh, next is the uh, we have to build the image. The command is uh, docker build hyphen p, and this is my uh, repository name, and means this is the username, right? And this is the our my, my repo name. Mm, if uh, I will go to the docker hub, let me log in. Okay, you can see this is the repository and I have just copied this one, right? This is the username, this is my username and this is the repository name, right? GitHub action. There is this repository completely empty, right? I just copy this one and paste it here, right? And after that, I have mentioned the uh, my uh, tag, right? Tag means uh, it will uh, which build according to the build number it will automatically fetch right uh, here you can see this one this the, okay this is the saved in in the output name right and it automatically printed here right then what we will do uh, our emails is created so let's uh, see the uh, docker uh, here you can see this is the command for uh, what to create the image right for that uh, where it will create the image from the docker file right so where is the docker file let's see uh, okay let's go to the just a minute okay let's go to the docker okay so our here is the docker file so uh, here i have uh, used uh, the tomcat from the base image is tomcat right and uh, copy means this is the uh, github workspace automatically it will uh, detect it's a uh, in variable format that's why it's automatically face the path then wave then the target folder then this uh, dot war file is there this will copy to this path of the container right then this is the work uh, uh, working directory then to start the container this is the command uh, sorry to start the tomcat uh, server this is the command right so this is uh, the uh, image from this this image will create it right then uh, after create the image we will push it to the docker hub right for the command is uh, docker push and this is the image name right uh, with the tag this is the tag right then the first job is completed right so let me uh, set this let me set this secret things in the Git, uh, github right so first go to the docker hub and here you can see uh, my account go to the my account right and in click on the secret right and uh, just create a new token here just type uh, any name you want to i am writing with hub underscore action right you can Take any name and give the read write access right and generate the token right and this is the token and save it in a notepad okay so just copy this one and paste it here right and this is the username of my account right okay so everything is fine okay okay so let's go to my 
github repository and go to the setting section and in this setting section you can see the secret and variable go to the action scroll down you can see the new repository secret just click on it and give uh, the key value name right so here is the docker user right just copy these things okay if you don't uh, give like this name then the yaml file when it will execute uh, this cannot detect the our secret right just copy and paste it here create a secret right and similarly go for the password okay copy this one and paste it here and this is the github repository token right okay fine everything is fine let's go to the code so let's uh, see the deployment part so what is the deployment part in this deployment uh, in the runner we will use the self-hosted right self-hosted runner uh, which is uh, i have already uh, created in the uh, this uh, aws ec2 machine this is the docker server right so here we will use this self-hosted and how we will set up i will show you right then uh, this is the needs uh, built means uh, when the above job means this job is completed then the deployment job will start right okay so similar thing uh, here also uh, uh, it will also set the build uh, number and uh, uh, login docker repository right and after that pull the emails from the docker hub this is the command for pull the emails from the docker hub after that uh, when the container is any container is running it will stop right so let me give a name here right let me give a name uh, or you can leave it uh, no problem okay then uh, after that it will uh, delete the container uh, in with this name right then it will create a container right sudo docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name container name right and port number is 8080 right this is the host port number and this is the container port number and this is the emails name right Your emails name with the build number right so let me do one thing here uh, how to set the runner right just uh, log into the server okay time out just wait for that time go to the github settings okay my repository settings the go down you can see here there is a action right and you go to this runner right and new self hosted runner right and uh, here i am using the linux server so in this linux server you have to install all these things so let's go to okay let's log in okay now this is login and here i have already installed the docker okay docker hyphen v if i will do you can see here i have already installed the docker because in this server you have to uh, run the our docker command right so uh, for that we have installed the docker here right so uh, let me set the runner here so for that first this command right then go to this command press enter it will download it okay fine then copy this paste it here okay it's okay then untap it zip file right okay fine then what we will do everything is done scroll down token right paste it here press enter okay 
it will start by center or default or default skip successfully added right okay okay now it's added well, let's start the our runner so for start the runner okay you have to go to this command right and give the ampersand symbol that's why it will run in the background okay so it will run in the background it's started so you can see here if you will go to the again go to the settings and action and runner you can see this self-hosted is added and it's a green symbol right so uh, i think uh, okay just go to the code here is the code and i think you have uh, understood everything in this code let's copy this one right and go to the github and in this so yeah here i have uh, created a one uh, docker uh, uh, docker one right docker one uh, uh, branch okay and uh, here automatically created this folder let's go to inside the folder right and uh, change here the branch right so hyphen one okay and commit this one let's see if i will go to the action it will start okay let's see what will happen the build here is the first job is build right let's go to this it's uh, ambient clean package it will create the artifact okay now log into the git uh, docker hub and push it to the docker hub right and checking out the repository completed then go to the deployment section just wait okay it will failed okay so check what is happening here okay this is the permission deny right uh, you can see when it will fail it will automatically give uh, a email also you can check your mail here I am going to this and click this you can see okay okay no no okay docker hub just refresh it it will give a mail okay you can see this mail okay then the docker build push deployment job not successful right this is the failed you can got the mail also in jenkins you have to set up the email configuration but in uh, github action it automatically sent the mail when it failed right so uh, fixed how we will fix this just uh, copy this one that is the permission deny right okay just copy this one okay and paste it here okay actually the folder permission is not there there is a 7777 uh, permission You have to give the 777 permission just copy this one and uh, go to the server okay just a minute time out new window okay and uh, paste it here press enter okay fine then let's uh, go to the our uh, this github and run again run all
set up okay just wait it will take time okay it's complete let's go to this I think everything is complete here, right? Let's uh, go to the here and uh, sudo. If I will check the email, sudo docker images, right? There is a image with the tag number uh, nine four, right? And here is also you can see actually I have tested uh, ninety. Uh, four times the that's why the tag number build according to the build number it will show the 94 right and if i will go to the docker hub and my repository right right this is my repository go to the repository and this one then what will you can see this tag 94 right the image is uh, pool and let's sudo docker ps you can see the one container is running in the h 0 port so what we will do uh, let's access this before that the white list this port okay uh, add the rule and h 0 0 okay set the rule Go to the instance, then details, copy the public IP, paste it here, okay, 8080, press enter. What happened? It's running or not? Let's check once again. Okay, it's running. Okay, 8080, everything is fine will happen here again check uh, copy the public IP okay paste it here zero, eight, zero. okay uh, then what we will do just uh, go to the code and copy the our artifact name just wait where is the artifact okay okay the artifact is uh, in the docker file okay let's go to the docker file let's go to the docker file here okay this one and this is the our artifact name just copy this one and give a slash paste it here press it you can see this is the uh, our project okay so if i will do it again let's check cicd is completely working or not okay so let's go to the code and go to the this one right and uh, edit something here and uh, after comment let's go to the action and it automatically start build in the docker build okay just go to this let's see what will happen here Okay, 
it's automatically boost okay okay first trip build is completed then we'll go to the second deploy to docker image if i will go to this and refresh it you can see another uh, tag is generated in the docker hub okay you can see this one and uh, okay fine it will first uh, what it will delete and create a new container right if i will go to this and refresh it it will take time we can see automatically change here okay so in this way you can use the ci cd pipeline using the github action well that's uh, all for today folks uh, you have covered uh, how to automate uh, docker container deployment using the github action and uh, docker hub hope uh, you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content like this until next time happy coding